By the way, you know, stability, fit, and ride are I think the, the most interesting sections um, in this review, so stay tuned for them. Hey everyone and welcome back on the channel. My name is Alex and today lots of excitement because this is the first time we have a shoe from Onrunning on the channel. For those of you not familiar with Onrunning, it's a company out of Switzerland. Um, they're making shoes but also some um, very nice running gear, apparel. Uh, so um, go check them out if you don't know about them. Uh, they start to be more and more famous and um, they're also going uh, public this year, meaning they're doing an IPO. I think by the end of, of the year um, they should be um, public. So this is also quite interesting. If you're um, really into running and want to you know, invest a bit in um, a running company, why not? Maybe on running is on your uh, list. Um, today we have the on Cloud Stratus V2. Um, it's not really called V2, they only call it Cloud Stratus, but this is the second version of this shoe. The first one got released in 2019. I did not run in the first version, so there's no comparison possible for me. Uh, if you have, let me know in the comments and let me know also if you tried both. I'm very interested to uh, hear from you. Also, just a quick disclaimer, this shoe was sent to me by On Running, but they're not paying me and I'm free to say whatever I want about the shoe. Uh, they're not reviewing the video before I'm publishing it. You can also find the shoe with a little discount on our partner's website, Top for Running. I'm gonna put a link here, upper right hand corner. Cloud Stratus 2 um, specs, we're looking at 331 grams, I believe. You have the numbers on your screen um, for this US 11 EU 45. It's, it's a heavy shoe, but you know, it's a daily trainer and frankly, I do not mind weights for daily trainers. Um, you know, if, if the weight is low, that's fine. If it's high, I don't really mind. I'm not gonna take this shoe to any sort of racing, tempo, interval, speed work, whatever. So for daily training, that's, that's perfect, perfectly fine. If you compare this a bit with other shoes like the Invincible, uh, the Magnify, uh, the Nova Blast, it's in that ballpark. Nova Blast is a bit, is a bit lighter, but um, Invincible 321, I believe Magnify is in the 330s as well. So, you know, this is, this is fine. This is really fine. In terms of platform width, it's a rather wide platform. And we'll come back to that, of course, in the stability section of the video. By the way, you know, stability, fit, and ride are, I think, the, the most interesting sections um, in this review, so stay tuned for them. It's a, it's a wide platform. And, uh, you know, something like Magnify Boston 10 are in the same, um, the same range. The heel is not as wide as on some other shoes that have similar numbers for the forefoot and the midfoot. Uh, but still, it's a wide heel and, um, and it's a wide platform, which is quite enjoyable for some reasons. I will come back to that. Durometer number, I know you're expecting this. Um, so here we have uh, the Cloudtech Ilion type of uh, midsole. It's a blend EVA plus olefin block compound. Um, and this is the third review in a row and I did not do this on purpose. We had the Pulsar, we had the Nova Blast and now we have uh, the OnCloud Stratus. The three had EVA plus olefin midsoles. Very interesting. Um, here, however, the number is um, much higher compared to um, the Nova Blast and the uh, Pulsar. We're looking at something like 42, 43 on the Durometer scale ranging from zero to 100. So this is something a bit firmer and on running is known to have um, firmer rides. Now, welcome back to that in the right section, but um, the ride isn't that firm and certainly is not as firm as the number may suggest, which is really, really interesting. Another thing that is quite interesting, I believe, is that using the same type of blends, EVA plus olefin block compounds, we have three very different numbers with the Pulsar and Nova Blast being in the low 30s, high 20s, and this in the low 40s. So, you know, same blend, different compounds and very different scores, 
which again shows uh, that geometry is only one variable in the way a shoe um, rides. Um, last but not least, drop. We're looking at 8 millimeters with 30 millimeters in the heel, 22 in the forefoot. And um, this is some sort of max cushion, um, right? It's max stack height type of, of uh, shoe. It's not really a maximalist type of shoe, but it's in that, that ballpark. And I think I will include it in the, um, in the mega review uh, with maximalist daily trainers. The upper is an engineered mono mesh, um, very light, very breathable. It's a, it's a great upper. The wrapping is almost perfect. Toe bumper is fine um, and helps to get that uh, nice volume here in the, um, in the toe box. It's a, it's, a, it's a toe box with lots of volume. It's a forefoot with lots of width. Um, it's a midfoot with lots of width. It's a heel with lots of width. Definitely, if you're looking for something wider, more accommodating, this is a shoe that you may be interested in. Um, it's not a drawback though, because the lacing system allows you to get a very nice lockdown, should it be in the, in the midfoot and also in the heel. It's wide, but it's not floating or you're not like, you know, moving in the, in the shoe. Once you get a nice lacing, um, the lockdown is, is really good. The tongue is actually thick and plush, um, quite comfortable. Not the best one uh, from my experience in the, in the past reviews, um, but it's fine could be a bit thinner and maybe um, the more comfortable, the plushness is fine, but you don't have that softness and cushion that some thongs uh, that are thick may offer you. It's gusseted, which is great and also helps with the lockdown. As you can see, the lacing system is quite interesting. This was also the case on V1 and um, it's working really well. I mean, um, it shows that, you know, there is some improvement innovation also possible on the lacing uh, system, lacing eyelid chains um, side of things. So um, here, great job. And I believe the eyelid chains will be quite durable. Um, they look sturdy and, um, and this is also a, a very good thing. Now the right of the shoe. So again, here we're looking at the Cloutec Hillion Midsole, um, an EVA plus olefin type of blend. And uh, if you pay close attention to the midsole, you see that you have two layers of those clouds. Um, and I believe that also is a big improvement compared to V1. Um, you may think this added weight, in fact, they cut weight uh, from V1, almost um, you know, 30, 35 grams, I believe. And I'm pretty confident the two layers of uh, clouds help to get something way softer than the geometer score of 42, 43 may suggest. Um, so you have, you know, a good cushion, uh, a good cushion and something way, way softer than I expected based on everything I heard about on running shoes. Um, so I'm not going to go as far as say this is a soft, a soft ride. It's a firmer ride um, in that realm of um, maximalist shoes, but it's definitely not firm. You have some nice cushioned compression. Um, a good amount actually of energy return, which surprised me, but I believe this is also due uh, to the speedboard that is here underneath the, the clouds. Uh, so as you can see, you have those two layers of clouds and here you can see through the speedboard, which is a plate. Um, and this speedboard helps to return energy, but also I believe it stabilizes the ride quite a bit. So essentially the ride is um, fairly cushioned on the firm side of things with a decent amount of energy return and it's stable. And now let's, let's, um, let's go into that stability. This is a very stable shoe. And most likely if you ask me, Alex, can you recommend a neutral running shoe with a, a great amount of stability? I'm going to go for this or maybe the Puma Magnify, but you know, one of these, um, few features here that help with the stability. First of all, um, the, you know, this, this cutting here in the middle, uh, guide in line, if you want, it definitely helps with the alignment. So you have an aligned foot strike. Um, the speedboard, I think, also helps uh, to you know spread evenly the forces when you uh, touch the ground over the whole uh, cloud thing. Um, very interesting as well. You know the beveled heel is asymmetrical, so you have a bit of a lateral bevel, um, and also that that heel cup that you see here, the black is asymmetrical as well. It goes much um, further here on the um, internal side, which also helps to reduce that overpronation. So very interesting features here. And of course, the wide platform definitely helps as well. The fact that the Ilion um, midsole 
is a bit firmer also helps to uh, avoid you know that um, collapsing that you may encounter with softer foams it's a very stable shoe and um, I'm, I'm really pleased with that I'm not personally looking for stability but sometimes you know on tail legs I'm very happy to get some and a decent amount of it um, for instance in this shoe outsole is fine nothing to write home about my biggest concern and this has proven to be right uh, during my runs is that you know the the guiding line here is a bit of a stone catcher so I wouldn't go on on trails with it um, anything rocky may be a bit um, uncomfortable with this one uh, but other than that no issues I believe the durability will be quite good the build of the shoe and the overall you know quality is um, great and this is something on running is known for um, you know the quality is here and um, I, I have no issues on that price point 180 euros 170 dollars mm, that's you know that's maybe where it hurts a bit um, in the realm of max cushioned uh, daily trainers this is the, the the highest price point you'll find I wouldn't go as far as saying the shoe is not worth them it's worth that 160 euros dollars most likely um, 170 180 is a bit high now if you're looking for all the features this shoe offers meaning you know the wider fit um, the firmer cushion and that's very very stable ride yeah that's the price point and I, I would recommend to just you know pay it that's it for today guys I hope you discover something new with the on running cloud stratus 2 I am myself very pleased with this shoe uh, very pleased with on running and um, you know, I look forward to testing other shoes from them, mainly because um, all the misconceptions that I had uh, were proven wrong with this one. Uh, it's much softer, much more pleasant, and uh, this is a shoe that I'm going to use myself in my rotation in the coming weeks, coming month, uh, because I can see how it can, it can help my training, my performance. So, uh, you know, kudos, kudos to On. If you were not uh, familiar with them, go check them out. Um, and in the meantime, enjoy your run today, enjoy your rides, go beyond your limits and most importantly guys, take care. Bye bye.